How do you find a gas leak? How do you do a pressure test on a gas line? And what is the procedure? Let's find the gas leak in this video. And do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell before we begin. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. Let's get started. Gas company called and said there's a gas leak somewhere. Homeowner said she smelt gas outside. So we are going to cap off the fireplace inside and the unit and do a pressure test. So let me show you the meter. It's locked out. All right, here's the locked out meter here, the locked out gas line. So we're gonna take it loose here and put our gauge on there so we can pressure test it. And that way we can put about 30 pounds of pressure on it and then we'll leak test all the connections. Taking it loose from the package unit, I'm gonna cap it off right here. You do not want to put pressure on the gas valve or the regulator for the fireplace and the unit because you'll end up ruining the regulator. All right. Installing a nipple and a cap. Pipe thread sealing. Right here. We took this nipple off and the union. That way we can install a cap. So we are isolating this package gas unit. And then we'll go isolate the fireplace inside and then we will put some pressure on this line. All right, all right, got an extension cord and I'm taking power right here. One side of the line side of the contactor and then the ground. And this is so that I can power up my little portable air compressor. All right, I got a couple gauges to choose from here. All right. Got the meter locked out, so there's no gas coming into this. Now if I need to move the meter out of the way, I can take this one loose too but we might be able to move it oh yeah all right so i'm going to take this elbow off as well that may be loose oh yeah all right all right now let's get our pipe thread sealant here get a bunch on there and then screw our gauge in. Oh, meter's in the way still. I may have to lift this up. Get away, mosquito. Beautiful. All right, get this tight. And then we'll turn the air compressor on. I was able to pull this line up to get my wrench underneath now little gas heater is ready to put a cap on got the heater out of the way and took this piece off for the union now put some pipe dope and cap it right here got the cap on open the shut off that way it's open and we're not we're blowing straight into the cap all right time for pressure Well, guess what? Attempt number one has been a failure because there's no stem. So I need to check that and make sure I have one in there. The valve core is in there before I pressure it up. So I'm going to take this one out and put it in there. All right. Definitely need that. Beautiful. Now, pressurize it. <laughs> Well, we got a leak. It's right here. That's great. <laughs> I have to get one that has a better, better seal. See the difference? This is the one I just took out. This is the one I'm about to put in. And you can see that there is a little rubber gasket right there, a little rubber O-ring. And this one doesn't have one, so that's the reason it was leaking. So, all right, let's... Uh, 
put this thing in using our thermostat screwdriver. Oh, stay still. Now let's put some pressure back on it. Beautiful. Now I went ahead and put 40 pounds on it. And you can see it's leaking. It's leaking? Is this leaking? Already? No, this ain't leaking. Yeah, it's leaking down already. So it's a big leak. All right, let's get some soap bubbles. What we got? Boom. All right, let's do it. So you can hear it. I sprayed the connections and then got over here and uh, you can found it. It's right here. Wow, it's like a hole in the gas line itself. Looks like there's a couple notches in there, so if maybe, it was, maybe it was rubbing on a rock here or something at one time. So it's not a joint like this, it's the actual gas line. So we'll have to probably take and cut back some of these shrubs and then replace from here. So measuring from this elbow here to that joint is about 52 inches. So we're gonna cut a piece about four foot grab a union and a nipple and then we're going to cut this pipe off right here with a sawzall and a metal blade and then take it loose it's the best way to do it all right we're going to cut the gas line and then thread it if you want to learn how to thread cut gas pipe with a machine then check out the link in the description to the video that i posted it's a video on how to thread and cut gas pipe okay got the half inch black iron cut and threaded ready to go that's 48 inches so four foot piece of half inch black iron got the uh, 20 volt battery powered sawzall we got a metal blade and we're ready to go also got a union a couple close nipples because the length of the pipe was about 52 inches so we've only got about four inches left so Surely with this maybe two inch nipple and a union and a close or maybe two close nipples and a union we can make it work. Let's go. All right. Let's get this line cut in half. Is it really? Yeah. All right. Need a new battery. Got this side out here. You couldn't really see the gas line because of these bushes. Mm -mm. Let me see this one. Where's the leak at? Hmm. So the leak was somewhere right here. Look how eat up it is. And we're gonna install a new piece of gas pipe. Perfect weed eater. Now I'll be able to see the gas line. Sometimes you gotta trim some bushes. Beautiful. All right. Now. All right. Beautiful. Make sure it goes in straight. Oh, that is close. That is so close. We're definitely gonna have to use those close nipples with the union. All right, let's tighten it up. Now, tie the union in. Union is a great way to join a couple pieces of pipe, leave it a little bit loose, that way we can bleed off the gas of course they'll have to turn the gas meter on first notice that their shutoff was in this pipe here that we cut out but you couldn't really see it so we're going to put it over here tying the meter back in 
I need to know if you need me to do, James. You need me to pull it back this way a little bit, or? Yeah, it's good. Okay, you got to turn the elbow. More? I don't know. Um, yeah, probably a little bit more. Okay, wait. Yeah, that's probably good, James. Here, I'll push it over and pull it over this way. Oh, yeah, it looks good. Beautiful. Turn it back in. That way they can unlock this meter, get the gas back on. You can't really see the drip leg. It's right below this T. You always need a drip leg before your appliances, your package unit. Got the new line in, looking good. Got to go hook up the gas logs now and we'll be set. Usually you're not going to find a gas leak in a gas line like this. It's very rare that we find a gas line with a hole in it, but it happens. Sometimes it's usually in a fitting or a joint that wasn't tightened enough, and that's usually where your leaks are. If all your gas line is outside the house and none goes inside the house, then the gas company will usually just unlock the meter without you having to have a pressure test on it. Depends on where you're located and your gas company. On this one, since most of the gas line is outside, they're going to go ahead and unlock a meter for us since we found the leak, and it was a substantial leak, so we know for sure this is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments if you did learn something. What did you learn? If you don't have a question, that's okay. Let me know who you are and where you're from in the comments. If you need help with your project, you need tech support, you know what to do. Click the join button down below, become a member, and then let me know in the comments. Say, I joined. I'll give you my email and that'll lead to guides like gas pipe sizing. I've got a guide for that. Don't forget to check out the videos I've got on adjusting gas pressure, measuring with a manometer, and also using a threading machine to thread gas pipe, cut gas pipe. Check out those videos down in the link in the description. And don't forget to check out my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.